Hello <laughs> I, I, <laughs> everyone and welcome back to the Pootie Jam, the only uh, series dedicated to the gacha game Tempuchi Heroes, which is <laughs> spelled the same, <laughs> said differently. <laughs> That's the actual intro for it. I was here as yes. always with Zenrut. Hello everybody. How's it going, everyone? We're here because we're gonna here to talk about Jumputi Heroes. Even though I just completely fucked up the name right now, but it's all right. <laughs> um, because there's a new celebration going on. That's right. It's Naruto themed, as we guessed last time before we were ending the uh, the video. So now the, all the Naruto dudes are here, and we're here to celebrate the fourth Ninja War. Was it? Uh, yes, the fourth Ninja w World War. All right, perfect. So we have a lot of Naruto dudes to go over. It's going to be pretty fun, because this is about the part of Naruto where I stopped caring about Naruto. <laughs> yeah, this is the, the part of Naruto that's pretty divisive. It's pretty hit or miss for a lot of people. I'm not mm. the biggest fan of it. Um, this part of Naruto is like where you stop caring about the quality and you just want to see the cool stuff. Because there's so much cool stuff, but also, like, it's stupid. It's the Broly defense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's so dumb, but it's so cool. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. That That's fair enough, I guess. <laughs> so, let's run down some of the things that's actually going on in the uh, Naruto thing. First of all, there's a Naruto login bonus. There's Naruto gacha tickets that you can use to get... I think they only have Naruto characters in it, and these specific Naruto... AKA the Sakura tickets. <laughs> yeah, where you'll get mostly three-star Sakura. <laughs> Over four star, over four star. Is Give her the star? respect she's due. She was a four star. I thought she was a three star. No, she's a four star. Ah, oh, damn, moving up in the world. Well, now she's a five star in here. But this ticket also has updated, as opposed to the ones that are actually in the regular shop. They should really update those tickets because they're doing these for some series where it's like these actually have updated and really good units on it, and then you can buy the bad version of these tickets from the yeah. daily. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, I, th these tickets are good if you haven't maxed out your Sakura yet, because you can get her to 99 luck, because she goes yeah. all the way to 6 star from 4. Yeah, just like um, And otherwise, you're just praying to God that you happen to get a good unit off of it. Yeah, yeah. As you always do in this game sometimes, it feels like. It's a lot of praying for a good unit. Uh, let's see. And, and here are the units that they have been added. I'm just going to quickly list them off. Here are the free units. The free units are Kaguya, I can't say that last name, Madara Yuchiha o from... Otsutsuki? Otsuki? I think it's Otsuts... It's like... Hang on, let me, uh... Otsutsuki? It's Otsuts... Otsutsuki. So it's like Susuki, like two of them. Okay, so Otsutsuki. Kaguya Otsutsuki. He's free. Madara Uchiha using the power of the six paths. Toriyama Senju, as I know him, the second Okage. Uh, Huruzen Suratobi, as most people know him, the third, or as most people call him, the bum Hokage. The bum Hokage, yeah. yeah those <laughs> the are trash your Hokage. Trash Kage. Those are your four free. And then the uh, non limited uh, banner unit. Oh, no, and Neji. Neji. <laughs> Dead Neji. The about to die Neji. Yeah, uh, the close to death Neji. The, Spoilers. Uh, yeah, spoilers for this arc. The setting up death for flags, old ass Neji. <laughs> for setting up all <laughs> forms of death flags, Neji. This man has never been um, happier in this free-to-play unit, and you just know that he's about to get smoked. Yeah, he's got the big smile and everything. Look at him. Yeah, I know. He's, he's got so a good happy. ultimate, too. It's a really cool, like, spin attack. Yeah, very cool. Uh, and then the banner units who are not limited are Sakura with the strength of 100 release. Eno, which I think is the first Eno, and Choji, who I think is the first Choji. Um, it's definitely the first Eno. I'm not sure if there's a little kid fat Choji or not. I don't think there is. I don't um, know. It's a very good because it's not outside the realm of possibility. He has a butterfly wings character in the game, but I don't think that he does. Let me look it up real quick. No, if he had the butterflies, I would know, because that's my favorite form of Choji. Nope, it's the first Choji crazy the first choji is two years later like kind of put to the side choji but at least he's a which is funny because shikamaru came out uh almost exactly three years ago <laughs> the two years later version uh or well the there's Ninja War. uh whatever the is there more than one shikamaru no there's just one right oh is there really Sh I really only so. one shikamaru 
Yeah, it's only the one Shikamaru. Um, he's he's in the it's it's basically him from when he avenges um Asuna Asuma yeah against the against Hidan Vamp- vampire man yeah cult blood blood cult guy um it. <laughs> it's him from that so it's not because these ones are from the Ninja War so they're technically like later in the timeline than him yeah but it's later. just funny that his squad members <laughs> came out uh January twelfth twenty twenty two and then uh, Shikamaru came out. February 27th, 2019. Jesus. Yeah, but to be fair, Shikamaru is kind of usually... A lot better than them? I mean, I was going to say the most liked out of them. (laughs) (laughs) Because obviously the best best of them is, of course, Choji in butterfly mode. There's no touching him when he's full butterfly when he was he's gone so powerful he's turned skinny he's beautiful it's basically a crying moment i think naruto actually ends at that moment like credits roll in the manga <laughs> you know what's funny do you know who um still does not have an adult form who rock lee oh that's right because on this on the on the cover art for the ninja where you have kid rock lee yeah it's little kid rock lee how have they forgot? How how could they do? Man, maybe that just shows how far Rock Lee has fallen in terms of showing up being the coolest dude in the world, and then eventually <laughs> getting just immediately someone nothing. Because yeah, let's see. There's adult Eno. Well, I say adult. They're like sixteen, but you know what I mean. Yeah, close enough. Adult Eno, adult Choji, Naruto. Adult has like seven forms. Same with Sasuke. Uh, Hinata has a time skip form. Uh, all the adults Tamari. look the same post time skip. Tamari, Neji but... just got his time skip form this time. It... Tamari and Shikamaru came in the time skip form like they already were. Mm-hmm. Gara has one. Sakura has two. Did they ever release a Conqueror? No, there the is no Conqueror. Shockingly, boom! <laughs> Finally, <laughs> I wonder if. <clears throat> Because they were in dis- uh, Tamari and Shikamaru apparently came out at the same time. I wonder if they were like Valentine's Day. Actually, that would make a lot of sense if they were Valentine's Day. Because there's but no Hedon romance. also came out at the same time, and that the event is about murdering him, so it might not be Valentine's Day. Okay. I was gonna say no couple in Naruto exudes more "I fucking hate you" energy than Shikamaru and Tamari. Yeah, but they're also the only good one. It's true. They're the best one. That's what I'm saying. They are the best one. Yeah, I like I like that uh, Shikamaru's dream is him uh, in a relationship with Tamari, but both of them agreeing not to get married. <laughs> it maybe says yeah. a lot about Shikamaru, where he's like, "I want a relationship, but I don't want a relationship." <laughs> That's Shikamaru, all right. What a drag. Um, okay, and then the, obviously the banner unit is Naruto, Sage of the Six Paths. Where he's in his ultimate Super Saiyan form. Yes, his most powerful Super Saiyan form. Yeah, he will never reach this moment again. Because Baruto has to happen right afterwards. So he never gets... <laughs> yeah, he doesn't get to, to peek out like this again. <laughs> yeah, how crazy is it to think that Naruto peaks at 16? <laughs> that's... that's... You I never think, get to didn't it leak that we're getting Boruto version Naruto after this? Too? Yes, that's also in the leaks. We are getting bad haircut Hokage Naruto. We don't know so what... So that, that means that Naruto has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven units in the game. <laughs> Maybe more if you consider um, his shadow clones that come with him on the unit. <laughs> he's got well, he even 58 more. yeah he has 50 there are technically 58 naruto's in the game in total yeah it's a lot of naruto is, is he actually with that um boruto version of naruto coming out now the most the protagonist uh, with the most units well he's 11 if you count his duo with sasuke um let me let me check luffy and goku yeah i was about to say luffy and goku would be the closest to maybe match him So Luffy has nine. Goku has one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight, ten if you count Vegito, 
nine if you don't. So Luffy and Goku both have nine. Naruto has eleven. Damn. Who would have known Naruto would be the one? So to... yeah, he Naruto is probably now the character with the most duplicates in the game. Finally, Naruto fans eating in finally the best Naruto gotcha to be released. Yeah, it really is. I think it's the only one, isn't it? Isn't the all the other ones shut down or called? The Naruto? only one left, yeah. <laughs> but it was always the best one. Yeah, to be fair. Neither one of us. Well, you were actually a fan of that original Naruto gotcha when it was. I really liked it for a while, and then it got really shitty. Yeah, I was one of the very few who thought it was shitty from the jump. I was just surprised how long it lasted. (laughs) It lasted a very long time. But we're not here to shit on dead gotchas, because if we did, that would be an entire different show that we could do. (laughs) At that point, why are we not making it its own separate thing? Let's get into the event itself. Let's talk about some of the free characters here, because we've got, uh, first, Madara Yuchiha, who is, I guess, what the fuck, is this his also power of the Six Paths? Let me ask you this, Zen, because I vaguely remember them talking about the Sage of Six Paths. Um, is this, like, God? Basically, um, he is the son of the, the aliens that originated Chakra, basically. All right, let's go back even further. Aliens originated Chakra. <laughs> yeah, so the Kaguya woman is actually an alien. Um, uh-huh. Yeah, and then there's like fruits that give that give you Chakra, and that's how people got Chakra. So it's like the Tree of Might. Yeah, it's actually called the God Tree. Okay, so it is exactly like the Tree of Might? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so eating from the Tree of Might gave you Chakra... And that's why, okay, so this is a version of Madara that has all, he has like the crazy freaky eyes too, doesn't he? Doesn't he have those pain eyes? Yeah, the Rinnegan. Rinnegan, yeah. So what is going on here? So tell me exactly what's going on, because the last I checked, he just was just a man with a Sharing Gun who was very strong and was able to shoot meteors at dudes. And now he seems to be much stronger. So he has, so right now he's got the Ten Tails inside of him. He's the Ten Tails Jinchuriki. Mm-hmm. And he has a uh, six pass power, so he's just super OP then. Yeah, but then he gets his dick slapped by Naruto and Sasuke because, of course, he does. Yeah, well, of course. This the the, sh- the name of the show is called Naruto, not Madara Uchiha beats everybody. <laughs> Man, this cover is so fucking funny that it has every time skip character and then little kid Rock Lee on it. It's so fucking funny. Yeah, it only gets better every time you look at him because really every time is, like... you see little little Rock Lee, I'm dying. <laughs> yeah, everyone's updated but Rock Lee. <laughs> Poor Rock Lee. He deserves better than this. But he's not going to get receive anything better. No, he's Rock Lee. <laughs> no, unfortunate. That's his only lot in life at the moment. So, <clears throat> I'm actually kind of surprised that he's not a banner. I guess this continues on with what you're saying. Jampudi doesn't really make villain um very rarely very yeah. rarely do they ever do it because i would think actually madara would kind of it, every version of madara as far as i'm aware is free <clears throat> that's crazy i'll look that up right now but i believe that all madaras are free the one we just got obviously is uh yeah. and there's actually only two yeah they're both free that's crazy to me because again i think there would be people who would be willing to spend for a limited version of him but oh totally yeah he's one of the most popular characters in all of naruto yeah so to make him free is nice for someone who just wants madara but in terms of people who want maybe a stronger version that isn't just used for luck missions or random, yeah there's uh, your problem <laughs> yeah that's kind of your your main problem here is it's really more for the collection sake than anything else or for specific challenge events, obviously, if you're uh, if you can do them, he can be used there as well. It is very interesting to think about because I was like, I don't think there's many Naruto villains that would be similar to how like Dio was made into a limited. I can't really think of many other. Um, Naruto so I don't villains. know every one of these series off the top of my head, obviously. So I don't know if I'm 100 percent right, but I'm gonna go through these limiteds real quick. I know of at least like three or four that are villains. Yeah, there's a couple. Um, and it's usually so, when they get limited, it's because there's an event that says, like, hey, evil uh, dudes are getting limited. <laughs> they, like, make an yeah, event Yeah, pretty much. Uh, let's see. If you count Majin Vegeta, he's one. I do. Yeah, of course. He's a villain. Of course. Murderer. Piece of shit. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, is Ryo R A O H from from Fist of the North Star a bad guy? He's got bad guy face. I'm gonna say yes. Let me see, because uh, I can look at him and I can tell you just by looking if it's a bad guy from. What? Why the hell can I not see him right now? How do you spell his name? R A O H. R A. Oh, Rao. Yes, Rao's bad. Okay. Uh, Krolo, obviously bad. Yes, Krolo bad. Uh, Kaido is bad. Kaido bad. Yeah. Dio bad. I would actually say Mihawk is somewhere in the middle. Is there a neutral? <laughs> yeah, would... Mihawk is like more neutral. Yeah. Uh, Muzan bad. Yeah, and it's Lady Muzan, so really bad. Is is Goldman good or bad from from Kenny Command? Uh, let me look at. I want to say Goldman was. Let me see. He kind of looks like. No, I think he was a hero. It's actually, I'm getting uh, him confused with the other one. I think there's a gold man and then there's a silver, a silver man. Let me double check on this one just because it's been so long since I've read Kaneko Man. I'm pretty sure gold man is a good guy. I, it kind of depends. <laughs> it might okay. be one of those cases. We'll, we'll chalk it up as an eh. Um... He was good. You could argue with Itachi, probably-ish? He is a villain. That, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it officially from the uh, the wiki for Kaneku Man that they consider him a villain. So let's go with villain. Goldman is a villain? Okay. Yeah. Itachi uh, and yeah. The is... only other one is Itachi, who you could maybe... Because the, the fight that he's from is from when he's fighting Sasuke. Yeah, he's kind of more of like a... Yeah, he's villainous. I don't know. Look at him sitting in that chair. You're telling me this man was... Yeah, well, at the time period he was representing was before the plot twist, so you could argue, but I mean, he's obviously like... It's complicated with Itachi. Is is Itachi the world's greatest ninja actor? Because he, <laughs> he really had people going. Like, they really thought... He was really good at being an evil piece of shit. Like, he deserved a ninja Oscar for his fucking work. Like, I, I I was convinced that he was evil up until he put the he pointed the forehead at Sasuke. I was like, no. Yeah, I mean, he, I definitely didn't think he was going to be, like, a happy friend. Uh, so, you know, it, yeah. it's up to you guys what you think, if he's a villain or not. Yeah. I would chalk him up as probably, yes, a villain. But Yeah, up until the reveal. It's one of those things where it's like, um... I guess it's more fun to think of Itachi as a villain because he's a really good villain. Yeah, he was really cool as a bad guy. And now the the reveal is kind of like, oh. Oh, he was good all along. and now That definitely the, feels like it came out of fucking nowhere. And then the second he turns good, the writing goes bad. Because then he put the crow inside Naruto comes out and he's able to break the genjutsu from <laughs> being made into a, uh, a um, reincarnated well, puppet man. Yeah, a little meat puppet. Yeah, he's like, I planned this out exactly. It's like, you plan to fucking die? <laughs> you you plan to die and get resurrected as a as a corpse man? As a corpse man, and you're like, I'm going to put this crow inside Naruto and tell him, don't worry about it, until the, the right moment comes up. Well, originally, it was like, um, so if if Sasuke stays evil, my crow will come out and hypnotize Sasuke into being good. Um but then it didn't it didn't work out that way. He used the crow to break the mind control on himself. I think uh, uh, uh yeah, okay. When the second Sasuke turns good, I think uh, um uh, Itachi turns good. I think Itachi kind of turns into kind of an idiot, but it's okay cuz I Yeah, like... that's kind of my problem with it too. Is like as soon as Itachi reveals that he was always a good guy, he also reveals that every decision that he's made is really not very smart. No, he reveals that he's basically an idiot, but Yeah. And then the only person that knows the truth is fucking dead. <laughs> so he really has, like, no course of action. <laughs> Wasn't that also the third Okage? Wasn't he the only one who knew the truth? Uh, and Donzo. Ah, oh, but Donzo's a piece of shit. Yeah. So, but other than that, just the third, yeah. Yeah, once the third passed on, it was like, well, now only Donzo knows. And Donzo's like, well, I'm evil. Shit. <laughs> well, I guess I'm just going to continue doing the evil thing, I guess. <laughs> Let me go uh, choke for however my... long that lasts. Let me go choke up my brother real quick. <laughs>
See how he's doing. Yeah. Um, enough about Itachi. Yeah, kind of surprised. Not surprised that Nod Madara is not a limited, but I think actually some people thought that he was going to be a limited because they're like, oh shit, it's Madara. He must be the second limited. And it's like, no. He's nope. he's he's 100% free. Excessively free. Unbelievably free. So feel free to get him. Um, we're not going to cover over what he does because he is 100% free. And if you have the power to get his special costume, you can. And according to you, his background uh, song in the game is very good. Yes, it's cool. I like it quite a bit. Mm, that's good. Good on them for doing right by uh, Madara. And yeah, now... I didn't know they were strong. Apparently, they've been doing it for a while, but the I didn't know that because I don't always play with the volume one and single player. But yeah. apparently, they've been giving them unique themes for a while now. That is which cool. Is cool. I'm, not, I'm not usually someone who plays with music on from most Gachi games. I think the only exception is uh, Fake Grand Order during certain segments. But other than that, I'd like it might be Dokkan's shitty music that I had to listen to for three years straight that eventually got <laughs> me to stop um, listening to <laughs> my mobile phone music. Because there's only so many. Yeah, times that'll, you can that'll hear, do it. There's only so many times you can hear dun 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 dun. Da, 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 for the main title theme of Dokkan. And then whenever you switch, you go, da, 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 and it's like, oh, fuck this. I don't want to hear this anymore. Well, the main reason to mute Dokkan is that fucking noise in the very beginning. Oh, you mean the loud. Followed by with, from Goku. Yeah, with Goku screeching into it, and Hercule is like thumbs upping you, and it's all so fucking loud. Yeah, it's an assault for the senses, for sure. Something that they've never updated, and hopefully will never update again. <laughs> they've decided to keep the shit sounds <laughs> until it goes down. Let's go. Uh, next other free character we've got, because you called me a genius, Neji, where you fight, I think it's Toby, right? In the actual event, you fight Toby, you don't fight Neji. <laughs> because you're getting Neji. Uh, uh, yeah, well, you, yeah, you fight Obito, unmasked Obito. Yeah, yeah. Obedient with the the funky face. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this Neji is real good. I like Neji in general. Zen, how do you feel about Neji? As just a character, I like him. He's cool. Yeah, he is real cool. They kind of he kind of got screwed over by the Ryakugan getting much less cool as the Sharingan got like seven different forms. Yeah, the Ryakugan just sort of stopped being good. Yeah, but, Ryak- yeah, hey, whatever. It went from these eyes they can rival the Uchiha too. These eyes make us look very good. Some, <laughs> but let me We're tell very, you, very cool looking. Very cool looking characters. Some striking women and men in this clan, <laughs> thanks to the milky eyes that we have. <laughs> also, some of us have Nazi soy symbols on our head, but it's okay. It's the Japanese one. That means peace. <laughs> it's not the it's bad the good one. one. Yeah, it's the good one. <laughs> We swear, please, oh god, <laughs> change it on the on the bringing it overseas, make it an X. <laughs> so it's nice to actually kind of get this uh, Neji, even though it is the. I actually think right after Neji died is what I stopped because I was like, "Fuck this, <laughs> I don't care." <laughs> I really like. Yeah, Neji. well, he dies pretty close to the end. He does. That shows you how much I stopped caring. <laughs> Is that I was right at the finish line and just <laughs> gave up. Couldn't get through it without Neji. No, I was like, fuck this, man. He was so cool, and then by the end of it, he just wasn't cool anymore, and now you're just gonna fucking have him die so Hinata can feel sad or feel happy, and then I was like, ah, I just don't care anymore. I'm done. You've killed. You'd look the, away. Look the, how one, you... the truest Neji fan can't watch Naruto anymore with look, Neji's look, death. Look how you massacred my boy. <laughs> <laughs> look at him. <laughs> and then, yeah, so it was real. <laughs> it, was, it was real. So them putting in this version of the unit makes me kind of happy because it, 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 there's not really a lot of references to his dead. Like he doesn't turn into an angel at the end and float off into space or something, which I think would actually be... No, no, his victory animation isn't him getting impaled by a tree. Oh, that'd be pretty fucking funny, though, <laughs> if a tree came out of nowhere and everyone else was happy dancing around, except for Neji who has a giant tree through him. I mean, that's basically the exact same setup as our uh, Sasuke getting his eye cut out. 
Yeah, at this point, we just want Naruto characters in pain for victory animations. Yeah, Naruto characters just getting bodied. They should release the, the eight gate uh, Mike guy, and at the end, he's in a wheelchair. <laughs> 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 just completely gut. Or it's that scene where he's in the bed, so <laughs> everyone else is celebrating, but he's surrounded by, like, Rock Lee, who's still a kid because they've never made a two years later version. So it's Kid Rock Lee, Ted Ted, who does not exist, so they can't use her. So it's just Kid Rock Lee looking at him because I just realized I don't have a Ten Ten in this game. I don't think so. Nope. Damn. But yeah, um, that'd be very good. I like Neji, so I like they've kind of put this one in here. As much as I am complaining about uh, how he died, I will gladly have a free Neji that I can use for luck farming at times when times come by. And like you said, his old animation is really nice. Yeah, I like it. It's it's like the chakra rotation, but he does like a lot of punches in the middle of it. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Maybe that's why I like the uh, Byakugan so much because it's just them throwing hands. All, all their, all their, all their yeah, they really do too. just be like poking. They just be like poking. It's like you're approaching me. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> they have the ultimate footsies game. <laughs> that's why it's so much fun playing as them. Because uh, what was it in Naruto Clash of the Ninja? When you play as Neji, he has that little three poke <laughs> that you could just put out there to get to people, and it's it has pretty decent reach. So pretty fun. That's what makes the Byakugan good. The Sharingan yeah. has a giant drag, like monster knight mode, but the yeah. Byakugan has got the pokes. Exactly, it's got all the pokes. And I think if they had actually advanced on that and just had it so that all Byakugan users were just like uh, fucking amazing at uh, hitting dudes, <laughs> I think they could have really gone really far. And like by the end of it, like instead of the what is it, 128 palms, they do the uh, a million palms. They could do that. Infinite infinite palms. And it just like nonstop for like seven pages. It's like the, the eight page Muda from part five. It's just like nonstop. Endless palm. <laughs> palms. It's just like the numbers <laughs> counting off. Or it's like that scene in Chainsaw Man when the gun devil shows up, except for it's just like numbers going off the screen to signify <laughs> how much hits are being done. And the word palm. <laughs> yeah. <everything. laughs> So it's like one palm, two palm, three more. It's just like all over the place. <laughs> full page, full page spread is all the palms take over the entire screen. <laughs> and then, like, eventually, it gets to the point where it's like it's even going over the art itself. And then finally, you have a full two page, uh, white, um, white, white background with black text. It just says infinite palms. And that's the only thing you have in the middle, and then you turn the page and the person is dead. <laughs> just evaporated. <sighs> Naruto. If only <laughs> the writer of Naruto wasn't a coward, he would do this. <laughs> Take these amazing <laughs> ideas. Fool. Fool. He could have had the world, but instead he had Samurai 7 or whatever it was called. <laughs> <laughs> Samurai 8. Samurai 8. I was close. <laughs> I was very close. Anyway, let's move on to the other free units. Not out yet, but they're going to be coming soon. It's the uh, Tobi Rama Senju, aka the second Okage, which is what I know him as. It still freaks me out whenever someone calls the Hokages by their real name. Because to me, they're just the first. The yeah, second, they're the not third. supposed to have real names. Yeah, it's weird. It's it's weird to me. But I don't do that for like uh, Tsunade and Kakashi and Naruto. But they're characters to me. These dudes are, like, ancient. It's like if George Washington came back and <laughs> came to <laughs> wreck havoc. That's kind of what I feel like when the first Hokage comes back or the second Hokage came back. It's like, holy shit, they brought back George Washington and Thomas Jefferson the fucking wreck shop. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, this version. So... I, does he come back? I thought wasn't his soul evaporated after using the, the resurrection thing? Uh, who's? Uh, the second Okage. Because remember, Orochimaru, he, oh. used, he summoned the first and the second, and then I thought the price of using that. Um... No, what was it? I'm trying to remember the exact events because now I have to remember back when Orochimaru fought the third. But I thought that in my mind. The third, didn't he lock away the first and second with his, like, ultimate uh, jutsu move? 
so that they would forever be spending. Yeah, in. but ah, they're fine. <laughs> so do they have to break them out? Is there like a prison break in Naruto where they're like, well, now we have to unfuck? Uh, yes, the they do. Actually, there actually is a Naruto prison break. Really? <laughs> they have to unfuck with the yeah, third is done? Orochimaru has to... I forget what they do. Orochimaru has to do something to get mm. them out for That's Sasuke funny. so Sasuke can talk to them. So, yeah. In, it, I always liked that move because, one, I really actually... like As much as the third Okage is a bum, I really did like that move he did where he's just like, well, I'm not going to win. So how about we both get trapped in an internal hell where we fight each other to the ends of the earth? And Orochimaru's like, what? And then he's like, let's go! <laughs> And yeah, then, Rushmore was like, huh? And then they and, just went. And then he's like, ah, let's go. And he's like, you old fuck, let go of me. I don't want that. Can't you just kill me? He's like, no. Get get in get in my demon belly. Get in here right now. <laughs> get in the ghost. And then when he goes like, well, I can't get you because I'm old and I'm slowly dying. What if I take your arms? And he's like, how does your jutsu fucking work? And then he just takes his arms. <laughs> <laughs> And then Rochamaru's like, God damn you, old man, my fucking arms. <laughs> and then old, old Naruto's so fucking good. Because then Rochamaru's in infinite pain, and he's like, I need a new fucking body, because I'm in so much goddamn pain because of that asshole third. And then I, as a kid, yeah, was like... Yeah, I like how the third Hokage's whole plan was just like, hey, fuck you, buddy. Yeah, and then Rochamaru is just in full pain, and then he dies with a smile on his face, and I think it's very, very good. It's unfortunate the stuff that was revealed later to make him seem like such an asshole because I actually thought that his death was very good. But, um, but then oh, every yeah, he time was we, a bit of a cunt, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. He was real. <laughs> he was a real piece of work. It turned out, but at that moment, he was pretty good. Like most uh, celebrities, when they die, you're like, oh man. The third, such a pillar to the community, and then like two years later, it's like, remember when the third did this? And it's like, whoa, the third fucking did that? <laughs> what? I've never heard of such a thing. That's what it feels like. Remember to me. when the third uh, took in an orphan child and then was like, we're not gonna feed you though. We're gonna leave you in this <laughs> tiny one room apartment with rotten milk. Man, the third really did that. That's crazy. The third was fucking nuts at the yeah, end. Yeah, they sure did. That's a, that's a funny. They sure the, fucking did. Yeah. He's the only Hokage who went back to being Hokage because he was the third and then the fourth happened. And then the fourth died. He's like, well, we could either find the fifth or I could go back to what I would love doing. So I'm just going to go back to what I'm <laughs> doing. My favorite thing ever. hokage <laughs> Being a Hokage. I may be going a little senile, but it's fine. I'm still the strongest motherfucker in this village. Who wants to test me? <laughs> Who wants a piece of the third? <laughs> and he's like, he puts on his little fucking weird gi on <laughs> and says, Who wants a piece of this? And so no one says, Okay, never mind. <laughs> you're the strongest. You're the strongest. <laughs> Give him Okage. <laughs> we don't care. Please, our fourth just died. And we're all, <laughs> we're all feeling pretty sad. He's like, don't worry, I know exactly what to do. This child right here has the nine tail that killed all your families. Feel free to put all your your angst into him. <laughs> Feel free to vent at this child. Feel free, he can take it. It'll make him stronger at the end. Oh boy, <laughs> let me tell you, this kid is gonna go for some rough shit, but by the end of it, he's gonna be so strong. <laughs> he's gonna be the strongest boy in the village. <laughs> and that's how I like to envision the third. But anyway, it's nice to know that eventually, I guess they have to break him out because I was always like wondering, like I could have swore he was fucking stuck in there because of what the third did. But I guess Orochimaru can get. Yeah, him out. Orochimaru has to like magic them out of there. Yeah, that's fun. That's good. So he comes out and then he gets to talk to Sasuke because I think his event name is called "You Must Love the Village and Protect Those Who Trust You." I think it wasn't it. No, it had something funny. There is no clan that feels deeper love than the Uchiha, which is just a lie. <laughs> <laughs> I've never I mean... seen <laughs> If you count Itachi's Listen. love Yes Itachi really loves Sasuke I'm not 100% sure if Itachi loves his own daughter <laughs> So Itachi doesn't have a daughter He does No not Itachi fuck Sasuke Oh you mean Sasuke's daughter My bad Sasuke has a daughter Okay, let's hit up Ki uh, Kishimoto and tell him, okay, the daughter of Itachi. 
<laughs> make it happen. <laughs> At some point, make it happen, please. Yeah, In we'll... your shitty ass Borzo. Yeah, you can make it make sense. Just make it, make it, make it like Itachi is their version of Dio. He just went around the world, <laughs> just getting it done. <laughs> He's just traveling. He's just traveling. All the women he's been with have, like, he's doing the Dio pose where he's naked looking for the back, but it's Itachi. (laughs) He'd be perfect. Yeah, I'd read that. I'd read that, too. I'd read it more than I would Boruto. (laughs) But anyway, what is the second's actual relation to the Uchiha? Because I actually don't remember... If he had any. I didn't um, actually... He's a Senju, and the Senju and the Uchiha used to be at war with each other. Mm-hmm. Uh, before Hashirama and Madara were like, let's be friends. And they, like, pieced it out. Mm-hmm. Um, but Tobirama was like, I'm super racist right now, though. And so he kind of <laughs> hates them. I'm kind of really feeling the racist vibes right now. <laughs> yeah, he's very racist. All right. Wow, they really... Which one of these was uh, Tsunade's grandfather or related in some way? Was it the first one? Hashirama. Okay, so she doesn't... The first. Okay, so she has no no claim to the racist Kage. Uh, well, I think that's like her uncle. Oh, that's unfortunate. So you hate to hear it from your own family. Hmm... Okay, so I had no idea. Because they're brothers, right? Are they brothers? I thought they were just really good friends. I think so. No, they're brothers, I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay. All right. I'll believe you on this one. So the lineage of the Hokages and how they go are just crazy whip wobby to me. It's chosen by the, like, the village. Mm. Sometimes. Sometimes it's chosen by the village, and sometimes... Uh, the pre- previous Kage is just, just like, I want that one. Yeah, which is what uh, the third did, right? Uh, Well, that's how the third got named. Yeah, as we discussed previously, he challenged the entire clan to fucking step to him, and <laughs> none dared to go against him. Uh, well, it was like, what What happened? It was The second was like in a war, and then he was like, damn... I'm going to die in this war. Third, you're going to win now. You're the Hokage. And sure. he was like, okay. And- you are the Hokage. You know? And the- so it's really his fault that everything happened then. Because if it wasn't for his actions, we would have maybe gotten a better uh, Hokage. Yeah, kind of. He's a real, real cunt. Right. Yeah. Which is why he's free to play, as opposed to the first, who is a <laughs> super special rare. <laughs> yeah, that's why he's that's why he's free. Mm, it all makes sense now. I really hope there's not like a huge fan of the second who's just like completely turned off by everything we've said about him. All the extreme slander. I assume that the second has fans. I mean, he's got to be pretty popular. I mean, he looks cool when he fought uh, the third. I remember thinking, "Whoa, this is pretty cool," because, like I said, it was like George Washington and. Uh, I, I Thomas Jefferson showing up to beat up on Abraham Lincoln or something. Not to say that the third is re- uh, relative <laughs> to Abraham. Maybe Andrew Jackson is maybe the more <laughs> accurate. Yeah, Andrew Jackson would definitely be the second. There you go. So the third is like, <laughs> what's a shitty one? The third is like uh, Garfield. He's <laughs> like it. Or okay. Hoover or something. Hoover. I was actually going to call him FDR because he lasted so long <laughs> that eventually he got a little bit uh, unfit to rule by the end of it is the right way of saying what happened to FDR near the end when he was slowly losing his mind dying in office. We just like the third, <laughs> except for in a slower uh, case. But either way, you'll be able to get him. He's free, so be happy. And also, I think you'll get an emblem that is the Mangekyo Sharingan from his event. So if you want to show off your cool Sharingan eye, yes, you can. you can, which is cool. It is very cool. You know what pisses me off? Mm-hmm. This is completely related. But uh, there's an emblem in this game for um, 
Ichigo true Bankai, mm-hmm. or his true Shikai, I mean, the one where it's two swords from the yeah. final. But that unit is not in the game. Like, you can't you can't get an Ichigo that has those swords. <laughs> that is it's pretty real, funny. A shame. It is a shame. I mean, eventually they'll have to go back to Bleach at some point, right? And you'll maybe you'll get your two swords. Yeah, sword. eventually he'll get put. I'm surprised they didn't put him in in this one. Mm-hmm. They went with Rukia and Kenpachi instead. Yeah. Yeah, apparently there was some weird... Actually, OCHD ended up commenting down saying, like, yeah, there was some weird stuff going on with that event. So apparently Kenpachi was a regular... In the database for it, was, like, a regular unit, but that they, they made him a limited. Which is weird. why his... Yeah, which is why his, like, animation is a little bit, like, not to the standard of Generic. the Generic? Yeah. So he was yeah. like, yeah, they... They did some stuff with that Bleach event that it's a little bit, like, weird. It was very clearly, it was only supposed to be, like, a one-week event that they turned into a two-week for whatever reason. <laughs> and then they put him all the way ass backwards at the very end. Very strange. It was very strange. <laughs> I was glad to have some insight from him, so once again... Yeah, they really, like, stuff. yeah, why did they make him come out two weeks later than everything else? Yeah. It, it it does explain a lot of like I guess they just decided to make the event the bleach event a little bit longer because it that's also why um, Yuna released as a one week event but there was like no fight that you could really use Yuna on the free to play side and they assume it's because they took the unit that you would have used Yuna for and they delayed them and moved them to somewhere else is the guess that he has is that there it, chances are was planned but they cha- uh, uh, plans changed for whatever doubled reason, back so. on it yeah. Interesting. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Now we get to the most interesting of the free to play characters. That's we have the third Okage <laughs> that we've been talking about the entirety of this episode for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the one we've been shitting on the whole time. Yeah. In his amazing I always liked that this old man looked like he had never stopped waiting for a war. <laughs> Cuz he always looks like because that's what he wears under his Hokage dress, right? Yeah. That means this his man... His silly walks... little ninja outfit. Yeah, he walks like this 24-7, ready for the smoke and any minute. <laughs> He's like, oh, you think you're going to get me in my sleep? Wrong. <laughs> I'm here now. I like how they tried to... I don't know if you've... Uh... I guess you haven't seen it because you didn't watch The Last Dark, but they like try to retroactively make him... It make doesn't work great, but make him what? Try. Sorry, you you cut out a little bit. Make him what? Make him cool. Oh, really? They uh they try to retroactively make him cool. How? Uh, he like does a bunch of. Well, he comes back as a zombie. Oh, okay. Like the rest of them, and uh, he does a bunch of fighting. Oh, okay. And uh, it goes not as great. Not that great. But All his... he yeah. uh, he does cool things. He, like, kicks a lot of ass. And they're like, yeah, yeah, this is awesome. Well, that's the kind of the retro... It's like the hard part about him is that he has actually a lot of cool moves. He has a giant monkey that he can summon. He has, like, the bow staff. He has that crazy demon, as I mentioned before, that can <laughs> take the soles of someone's arms and leave them permanently fucking in pain. Uh, it's so funny that he ripped the soul out of Richmar's arms. It really is funny. As a kid, I always thought that the third, because of the his actions, he because the way he words it that the jutsu is is that we would be trapped in an infinite like prison where we would get fight each other forever. So I was like, when he took his arms, does that mean he's just fucking fighting his arms in a prison forever? Because <laughs> that's what it makes. <laughs> yeah, he's just got his arms. So he's just chilling out <laughs> with Orochimaru's arms. So when they break free, he should have been like, Orochimaru, here's your arms back. Let's team up. If you're breaking me yeah, free. Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> here's your arms back. Let's go. Um, So he has like a lot of cool moves, and I haven't seen the ones you've mentioned because I haven't seen it. I actually kind of am curious now uh, because there's a part of me that even though he is, like you said, the bum kage, there's like a real like hate like relationship I have with him where I actually think he's super funny and uh, all the terrible things he does make him only better to talk about. 
<laughs> Makes them the most interesting of the Kages for sure. If you uh, don't count Naruto, that is, or I guess Kakashi. Okay, or Tsunade. So basically yeah, anyone from uh... from three and below. <laughs> <laughs> from three and below, he is maybe the funniest of them. He's better than the other ones. Yeah, in terms of what he does, and he's real funny. Because the other ones are like, um, the first one, he's got like a lot of wood stuff, cool. The second one's got a lot of water stuff, cool. The third's like, I breathe fire and I have a giant monkey, let's go. I just sealed up your arms, bitch, what you gonna do? <laughs> Nothing. I have a giant monkey that turns into a staff. Yeah. And uh, like I said, if in my back pocket, if you think you're going to win, I'm going to pull off maybe the dirtiest move in the game. <laughs> a forbidden jutsu that should also <laughs> stay forbidden. <laughs> it sh- I should. I don't even know how the fuck I learned this. Because if he learned it, that means that someone had to show him to him or he had to just make it up one day. <laughs> so that means he was just like <laughs> chilling one day and said, you know, it'd be really cool if I could figure out a way to summon a demon and then trap us in like an infinite prison. I think that'd be very cool. And that'd be well, the f- well, um, Minato did that first. Oh, he did, and that's where he learned it from. Yeah, he used it. Yeah, he used it on Kur- uh, Kurama to seal him inside Naruto. Mmm, that's right. It was used as a sealing thing. So he just learned yep. it and said, "I found a funnier way of using it on actual people <laughs> to lock their souls away forever." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, in a in some kind of hell prison. Yeah, pretty good. Uh, so you can get him for free if you so feel like having the bum kage. <laughs> I'm kind of looking forward to having the bum kage on my team. Um, don't know what his ult is. I hope it's either monkey or giant. Like like you said, I guess he does more moves. So I'm actually kind of curious to see what version of him. Yeah, it's from the war. Is. I imagine it'll be the he does this thing where he like makes clones, and each one of the clones does a different element. Um, I imagine mm-hmm. that's probably what it'll be. Okay. That sounds cool. I'll gladly have the old man. Pretty and again, cool. his yeah. outfit is hilarious. No matter how much you look at him, he really. Does yeah, in his little, like, ninja outfit. <laughs> yeah. And he's had this since he was, like, young. Doesn't look right at all. Because they show him young looking after when he walked in on Rochamaru's, like, weird laboratory, and he is wearing the exact same thing. So he's always worn this. Yeah, he he's wearing that when he gets promoted to Hokage. Yeah, he is always wearing it. Like I said, he's ready for the smoke 24-7 if someone wants to come at him when he's wearing the <laughs> Hokage garb. He's fucking, this old man's ready to fight. Uh, So I like that. And now let's go to the last person because I have absolutely no idea about them. It's Kaguya Otsutsuki, who is apparently, as I learned, an alien woman <laughs> who taught everyone jutsu somehow. Or give I gave everyone a fruit. Gave everyone a fruit. Uh, 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 it uh, it's okay. yeah. I'm mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a whole thing. Yeah. She think of how to explain it. Fair enough. You don't have she, to she explain just, it. <laughs> She's uh, some kind of alien, and then they're gonna—they're like parasites, and they go. It's—it's it's actually very much the plot of the Tree of Might. Like they go to Earth and they want to build, grow a tree on it, mm-hmm. and eat, and destroy the planet. Mm-hmm. And uh, look, at, and look at the fireball. Uh, it's Tree of Might, but if Turles fell in love per, with a person. Oh, okay. So it'd be a. Hmm. I was gonna she say. Like, uh-huh. uh... <laughs> Zen, are you there? I'm here. Can you, you hear were cutting me? Out like, you were cutting out like crazy. I, all I could hear is like <laughs> you uh, laughing, <laughs> and that's it. Trying to explain her. Oh, that's weird. I'm here. Okay. Yeah. Well, part of that is just that she's really stupid. It's just, she's an alien lady who wants to eat a tree fruit off of the earth and kill everyone, but then she falls in love and has a a child, and then doesn't do that, basically. But then she's evil again for some reason? I'm not 100% sure about how this ends. So, So someone looked at her. 
Actually, you know what? Let's you know. To be fair, if a giant alien woman came down from the sky, I'd at least give it a shot. I'd see like, hey, how you doing? With magic powers too. Yeah, I kind of be down for that. Don't forget magic powers. Magic power. Not to say that I'm looking for magic powers in a woman. It's an added bonus. Like. Yeah, like, I mean, like, yeah. I'm, it, it's not necessary, but if she's got them. It's like know. if you're trying, yeah, yeah. If you're trying to date a witch and she's like, I have magic powers. It's like, listen, I'm interested in you. The magic powers are a bonus. <laughs> it's something that is attached to you, not necessarily what I'm looking for in the relationship. Not to make it feel like I am using you in some way. You have to make it. Up yeah, I'm not after your powers, but you do have them. Yeah, which and rules? I think, yeah, which rules? I want to be 100 percent honest with this. I think it's fuck. It fucking owns, but I don't want you to feel like obligated <laughs> for that. These magic so, powers fucking slap. Yeah, look at this. I can summon a giant death god and trap someone's arms. It's <laughs> <That's> pretty sick. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I have to... I can't believe I'm getting you out of the fucking demon realm again. I told you to stop using that to take people's arms. I'm tired of <laughs> going after you and then getting back people's arms. But it's so funny. Uh, and, you know, you're just drinking at the bar and <laughs> one thing leads to another. <laughs> and then someone says, hey, you want to see a trick? And it's really fucking cool. <laughs> I'm just saying that you need to stop. <laughs> I'm asking you politely, stop. <laughs> <laughs> and that's Kaguya. <laughs> you can get her for free <laughs> right there. Get your magic alien woman now. With the turtles, the tree of might. She she is free. She is free. So free. She free. wants to eat people, but then doesn't later. But then does again. Then I'm eats. sure there's a reason behind it. I don't know what it is. She wants to eat people, and then at the end, she only wants to eat her man. But in a very different way from what was originally intended. Well, no, because then she also uh, she starts off good, and then she's not good. Um. I don't know, man. Shit's wild. Fair enough. Uh, doesn't she's a problem. Point, she's a problem. Problematic woman, <laughs> similar to the third. Yeah. Um, isn't there a point in this fight? This is actually the one thing I do know. Uh, doesn't Naruto hit her with a, th- a sexy jutsu? Uh, yes, a sexy jutsu of of men. It's pretty good. Uh, the, maybe the the greatest uh, Naruto move that he's ever created because it's the only move he's ever created <laughs> is the sexy jutsu. So I'm a fan. That is true, isn't it? That's unfortunate. It's true. Think about it. Hey, you want to talk about how the third hasn't really looked good in the grand scheme of history? Eventually, people are going to have to deal with the fact that their seventh ninja president only made one move, and it was the sexy jutsu. And they're going to have to really dig deep. Like, as people, old people are going, like, how the hell did this guy become Hokage? Like, no one will know that Naruto was, like, the master god alien. He slapped down an alien. No one's going to believe that. All they're going to believe is that he made a jutsu called <laughs> the sexy jutsu. That's his living, living legacy. It really is. Aw, oh, Naruto. I You're know. doing your best, buddy. He is. To be fair, it's a very funny move, so it all works out in the end, I'd say. Um, let's see. Next, there's a conclusion onwards to the new era. There's an epilogue event that will lead from Naruto into Boruto, which I assume will be the... Starts on 123, so that has to be the lead-in into the Boruto event. Unity battle with Princess Kaguya. Um, a symbol of shinobi missions. These are, like, little green, uh, shinobi things that you can get to get some stickers and some, um, other reward stuff, shinobi tokens. These stickers are also very good because I like Sasuke's face on it. His giant, like, like, borderline Hank Hill face is he's, it looks like he's going, blah. Yeah, Yeah, all the stickers are pretty good. Yeah, like them, big fan of them. Yeah, but those are daily missions, so make sure to be doing them. Um, Naruto Tower Boost, that makes sense. And finally, let's talk about the actual summonable units. First, we've got Choji. Tell us about Choji. This is going to be interesting because, like I said, you are cutting out a little bit, and so... Uh... We are going to try our best with this. Uh... uh. Uh, 
Uh, Zen? You there? Uh oh. All right, everyone, I'm back. Zenrot says goodbye. He had some weird internet stuff going on, so I will be continuing Jampudi Jams, not by myself, because I actually have my brother here who also plays the game. Say hello, boy. Hello. That's right, Nux is here with me, and he's going to help finish off talking about the actual summon units. So goodbye to Zen. Say hello to Nux. Swap in that easy, so simultaneous. Let's go. Okay. So... First, we're here to talk about Choji. Choji, I like Choji. I like Choji, too. I like Choji. We both are big fans of Choji. We're both uh, big Choji stands, as they call it nowadays. Yeah, as nowadays, big Choji stands. Um, would really like there to eventually be Butterfly Choji. But I will Technically, this one is Butterfly Choji, but not the Butterfly Choji. Yeah, I want kid Butterfly Choji, who's super... Yeah. That's my favorite version. The Just... he, he looks cooler, is that why? I think so. It's because it's the arm grab when he's fighting uh, the other big boy. I think his name was Jiro or yeah, something. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's really cool. So I know what you're talking about. Yeah. And then fighting in uh, Naruto Clash of the Ninja, it was always really cool when you turned to Butterfly. But that's beside the point. Let's go over what he does first. Okay. So for his special, he deals 480% damage to a single target, 50% when the target is poisoned for one turn, buff owned by 10%, support convert 3... Uh, and four into reduced weakening for units by two turns. For two turns, this unit gains 21,000 damage reduction. His um, passive is that he converts one and two in PvP buff into his own attack damage up by 15%. Oh, wow. So converts one into two into PvP buff, own special attack damage by 19%. Because that means that he changes buffs to be stronger. That's what it sounds like to me. Kind of sounds like it. Yeah, it's interesting. Uh, and he's able to do reduce weakening for two turns. Yeah. I mean, he doesn't... I like the fact that he they're kind of doing some more poison stuff. We saw some poison things with, like, um, Onami back then. Cause she's, like, a weakener for her support. And now we have someone who does more poison on the ult. So that makes me feel like they might start doing some more poison dudes down the line. Uh, buffing a little bit more of the poison stuff. There's some poison dudes out there, but... Not that many. Yeah, not that many in the grand scheme of things. So maybe they're going to start buffing on poison a little bit more. Um, yeah, I kind of like... Kind of like it seems very basic, but I like what he's doing and I like Choji. So that's enough for me. How do you feel? Is there anything you would have wanted specifically out of this one? Specifically? Yeah. Hmm... I'm not picky when it comes to what units do, because I take any unit I can get. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've been playing for many years now, but still, I don't think I have enough units to feel safe, because it's always changing around yeah, of yeah. what you need to use. So, having uh, buffs to previous things is always going to be nice. Mm. You got a very good point there. So yeah, I like him. We both like him. Stan Choji. Stan Choji. Make limited Choji. Do it. There, uh, there was no... Uh, there's no kid Choji in the game. There's none. As in, there's some really weird... There's no Ten Ten. There's no Konkuro. Uh, they don't Rock like the other people. There's no adult Rock Lee. No adult Rock Lee. Like we said on the cover art for the celebration, they use kid Rock Lee because they don't have... They <laughs> older. did? Yeah, let me show you, because it's actually pretty funny. If you, if you look... If I looked closely? You'll be able to see it. Once you've once you've pointed it out, there's no pointing... There's no getting around it. That's clearly Kid Rock Lee. And that's clearly Younger Mike Guy. Yeah, it's Younger Mike Guy, and everyone else is in their older forms. So, real good job on that one. I'll go back down. It's just funny that there's certain things missing from certain eras of characters and i assume it's because they jump rope around a lot it's so. called jump booty yeah it's jump booty for a reason because they jump around next speaking of someone who just got the first one let's go with eno her special for three turns buff aqua units special attack damage by 16 percent for three turns plus inflict 40 percent weakening on all enemies her support convert a random bubble into a special bubble then convert five wood and four block into aqua for one turn 
Aqua units gain 800 damage reduction. 4,000, it's a lot, 40,500 in PvP, 45500 in PvP. Wow. Yeah. Passive, reduce bleed damage by 3,880 3, when HP stats are uh, over 60%. Aqua units gain 550 damage reduction. So she's really more about, like, the damage reduction, it looks like. She inflicts weakening, which is real nice on her ults. Um, and she also buffs, which is super nice. Um, and her support, I think, is actually pretty neat because it, again, turns a random bubble into a special and then seems to be able to turn a lot of um, wood and block stuff into water, which is very nice and needed. And the damage reduction, especially in PvP, would be pretty nice, especially since there's like a lot of like healing being done in water thanks to the new Sensei that came out. Like, I'm able to heal just an insane amount of HP in one turn using water. I have noticed that. Yeah, I don't have her, though. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, it's going to depend on the person. But I think even on some PvE-style fights, I think she could come out to be pretty useful. Because, you know, having the ability mm -hmm. to weaken someone and also buff is pretty nice. The only thing that she's missing is the ability to heal, but no unit attack heals and, and buffs and defends. Yeah, that'd be too much for one unit. Especially for Eno. Yeah, I'm actually kind of surprised how they actually feel like they've made a pretty decent unit for Eno. <laughs> Not a unit you'd expect to get a decent unit. Yeah, Eno definitely isn't someone that comes to mind to be able to do all that. No, because she's the weakest of the Ina Shikacho trilogy. Well, they she may be the weakest, but altogether, they're strong. It's true. They're the ultimate. The ultimate deer, butterfly... Still has shadow. <laughs> Not shadow. It's based off of boar. Because that's what uh that's what Eno is. Eno's a boar. Chikamaru is the deer and Choji's the butterfly. <laughs> yeah, that's cause it's based off of Hanafudo cards or something like that. Something like that. Pretty nice. Big ups to all the Eno fans. Yeah, mm -hmm. I actually uh somewhat like Eno. Yeah, I like the look of Eno. Not sure so much about the... She, well, you can't really judge Kid Eno off of older Shippuden Eno. Yeah, that's fair. Because she's hardly there anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's pretty fair. So, ends up being a net. I don't have, like, a strong dislike is what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty neutral on it. Pretty like, yeah. She's part of the trio. She's important. She's an important trio. Does her cool little mind thingies. I like when she cut her hair as a kid, but we don't have that version of Eno, so it's a different Eno. That's probably going to be unit cut hair. Cut hair? I think that'd be pretty cool. So we're going to have a really weird, like, tune-in exam? It's going to be, like, a very weird uh, unit that is just Sakura and Eno beating up each other, but it damages the unit. That'd be pretty good. That'd be a good dual unit, one where they're fighting each other. Yeah, exactly. I'd, I'd like that. All right, next and finally we have Sakura. Uh, do you feel any one way or another about Sakura? I feel like she's maybe the most divisive character in all of Naruto. Just for some reason. Uh, personally, I'm in the group who was like, yeah, Sakura's great. Mm. She, she doesn't, like, have any inconvenience to the party that she's in, into the group. Mm -hmm. She kind of fits in where she's supposed to fit in. Yeah, I think she has a role. She does it well. She realizes her fallings as a kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trains them. Is much better when she's older. Still makes mistakes, but so do Naruto and Sasuke. So <laughs> if you're going to uh, attack her for that, the then... Biggest mis they make the biggest mistakes in the current one, which is Boruto. Yeah. And currently she's the only one that still has her power because she trained under Tsunade, so they can't take that away from her. Yeah, basically. So... Yeah, I'm kind of, surprisingly, maybe it's because of the fact that when she was trained by Tsunade, I ended up liking her more, but the adult Sakura I got no problems with. I'm like, all right. I still think Kid Sakura is funny. Kid Sakura is funny. It was kind of like comedic. Then. Cha. Cha. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. she's... I know this because I uh, used to pocket main Sakura in uh, <laughs> Clash of Ninja. Clash of Ninja, she was great. Um, fantastic fighter, underrated, in the right hands, could absolutely dominate the right people. Exactly. Let's see if that's true for her uh, Jampudi version. 
Your special removes two stacks of attack down for two allies. Recovers 150, recover 155% um, of uh, as HP stats, of attack stats as HP stats for two turns. Counterattack all damage received by the party by 108% based off attack uh, stats, it looks like. Support, convert a random bubble into special with 114% base damage. Excepting for block and special bubbles, convert the top and bottom rows into wood. For four turns, buff wood t units, attack stats, and other stats by 7%. Sorry, the the translations Zen gave me are from the Discord, so I don't have the emojis that they have, so I actually have no idea what some of these things are. Yeah, it happens. Yeah, by 7%. Uh, passive, resist buddy seal by 2. Buff on attack stat by 10%, and convert 3 thunder orbs into fire. Hmm. Hmm. I kind of like the, the ability to make a bubble and then putting the top and bottom row into full-on wood. I think that's pretty nice. It is kind of nice. Yeah. The only thing, again, is the bummer is that it doesn't really cover the... Uh, the field. Yeah, because, again, if they are, if you got a top... If you're covered with top blocks and you got a lot of bottom blocks, it can screw up a lot of the flow of it. But I still like it, especially if it's early on enough or you were able to keep your side of the field pretty clean. It's not too bad. Uh, the ability to heal and attack is funny after we talked about specifically how no unit has all that. She actually does have a decent chunk of that. Mm -hmm. The only thing she doesn't have is the, the defense reduction, but it's fine. Uh, the ability to attack and heal is still really nice. Uh, she does, definitely feels built for whatever challenge quest they've got going on, just because how much she does and how much she like is able to take out um, attack, uh, attack down stuff and... I don't know, in general, I think she's probably built for that because of the healing. Like, the having the ability to attack and heal is pretty useful. At least yeah, I think it is. It is pretty useful. So. Especially if you're getting hit by an onslaught of attacks, which is what those ultimate class things do. Yeah. So she can kind of do that. She can also be used in PvP if that's the way you want to use her. So I think, uh, overall, I think they did pretty right for Sakura. Not expecting it to be done right by Sakura, but it feels like they have. I feel like they had to do something. It is her basically special form. They didn't make her limited. They had to. They uh, they really had to make it Naruto. You yeah. can't make uh, the end of the series without making Naruto. It's true. If you did an end of a series event and it was the limited was Sakura, people would be like, "Uh, what?" So, fair enough. You know. Fair enough. Naruto gets it, but at least the Sakura still gets a pretty good unit out of it. And again, this is the first ga gacha one that is not a four star. So. Uh, wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, she was a four star. Yeah, she's a four star in the other one, so. Good on them for that. Good on Sakura. Yeah. You finally have your time in the sun. You're going to get it done. You finally got your slug. Exactly. And now, let's go to Naruto, who is the Sage of the Sixth Path, which we talked about and explained a little bit forward. Actually, how do you feel about Super Saiyan Naruto? The Sage of the Sixth Path, specifically? Yeah. It's a lot to look at. <laughs> nah. It's very yellow. He's very shiny, man. He's very, he's very bright in the actual... you know, Because I didn't actually read much of the manga. Mm. I actually was watching the anime. Mm. He's very bright. <laughs> he's a very bright boy. But honestly, I really like Toad Naruto more. Yeah, I'm kind of with you. I think it's either Hubie, the two tail from from as I a like kid. Either yeah, the kid, uh, like pre becoming Nine Tails, the two. Yeah, yeah, I like that kind of look. The feral Naruto, I guess <laughs> the that you, version of him. Call, it's it's still technically Nine Tails Naruto, but not not really. Yeah, doesn't have all the tails yet. And then Sage Mode is pretty good because, again, he goes hard with the toads. He got the toads out. He got a bunch of toads. Yeah, I think that's good. But then when it goes a little bit further is where I think when he went full gold and got full god, it's kind of like, eh, not as much. It's because it was kind of weird. Uh, Naruto is the only one who went a pure color and then you go to Sasuke He's the same, and you go to Sakura, she looks the same. Yeah, I guess that's true. He kind of is the only one with like the the glow around him that makes it stand out in a weird way. Now let's go into his unit. Let's go at full. He his ult is inflict five hundred percent attack damage to a single enemy and fifty percent additional damage on the target is balanced. 
Releases one damage up from all enemies. Special moves in descending order of numerical value. He also recovers 3,800 HP when attacked for one turn. And um, 170000 recovery in a duel. Which is pretty nice. If you There seems to be a lot more dudes now that um, if you put them in healing on turn one, then if since most people don't attack very often in turn one, they're usually there for setup. Um, uh, you can have Ace and Luffy on turn two, and they have all five of their attacks, because you'll still be at full HP. Yeah. It's pretty nice. It's pretty smart doings on that. So I like that. Next. Um, turn two is passive. Yeah. This is his uh, friendship trick. Um. Converts one petite at the bottom left of the center petite into a uh, deadly petite and increases the explosion range of one level. Randomly converts five petites to green petites, two disturbing to petites, and to green petites and recovers 3,000 HP. Uh, one. God, I cannot believe I cannot pronounce this number. It's 170,000. Okay. 170,000 in, uh, in a duel. Basically the same as Sensei, except for it's Naruto. So that's an extremely good friendship skill. <laughs> Very good to have. A lot of healing. It goes especially especially if you team him up with because I think he's green. He's green. Um, if you have Baruto, you can have Baruto and Naruto. And you can have so much healing on turn one. <laughs> Not turn one, but on whatever turn you're attacking with your um, green unit. Your it's, main green, yeah. Yeah. And finally, his passive, uh, his, uh, passive skill is... Reduce the number of supports to be sealed by two slots. At the beginning of the turn, when the enemy has a red attribute, guard 16% of the damage it receives. At the end of the turn, when your own special move is activated, you can shoot up to seven red petites to a single enemy in the petite shot, and the number of petites you flow are 3,300 fixed damage. So similar to Vegito. So, pretty good, I'd say. At least the ending part is similar to Vegito. I think the first part is just uh, helpful with seals. That is this Naruto, so he sounds pretty good to me. On paper, he yeah. does. Yeah, I don't have the unit. <laughs> yeah, from when Zen's using, he was really a big fan of that friendship skill, and having used the friendship skill with uh, Kirisu myself, I can say for a fact that that special is insanely good because it fits so well with the units that um, make a petite in the middle and then put a giant line over it, and then you heal. Uh, such as the Cowboy Woman, Boruto, um, I, f I don't remember the others who do that effect, but there's a lot of them. Um, very good effects. So being able to work with them is nice. Um, his attack seems to be able to deal a lot of damage based on what I saw here. Mm -hmm. uh, especially if you are someone who's fighting the balance type. So, and the ability to recover I think is nice, so... Always. And he heals as much as his... When he's used as an attack, he heals as much as he does with the friendship skill. So, pretty nuts, I would say. Overall, I think, very well done. Fitting for the end of a Naruto uh, limited. Friend of series Naruto. Technically. Yeah. I think there's another Naruto limited coming. Probably, but we'll see about that. The Hokage Naruto is coming, but we don't know what kind of... Um, unit he's going to end up being. Obviously, they're still going to release Naruto. I'm just saying specifically, end of series Naruto, this is... Pretty good. Yeah. It's pretty very good. good. They've done right by Naruto, for sure. There is a lot of good uh, wood Naruto units. <laughs> yes, there are. An insane amount, actually. Let's see. That's basically it for the units. But in terms of some other stuff that are coming in, just so you know... Popular Towers Hero Gacha is coming. I really wanted to talk Ooh. about this with Zen because here are the units that are on it. It is Hawks uh, mm -hmm. from My Hero Academia, Nanko from My uh, Unit on the Haunted Hot Springs, uh, uh, Zaiwa from My Hero Academia, and Ooh. Sukasa from Shigeki no Sama. I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is either. I just wanted to talk about like I did not know that people were using Nanko in the tower. <laughs> I would be very interested to see if they're using her as an attacker or what because. She's popular. She's popular. I'm glad that she's popular. I think she's awesome. I've been actually using her a little bit more as the main attacker and Sensei as a support just because the Sensei support is so good. Um, so I'm kind of glad to see that she's popular with the people. Mm -hmm. It's good for me. So that's a, a gotcha coming up. Other gotchas that are coming forward, the popular tower limited gotcha of uh, the unit everyone was shit-talking, Jotaro. <laughs> Turns out he's used a lot in... 
So the tower. Specifically, it's part for Jotaro. Yeah, the one everyone was saying was bad. It turns out he's extremely popular in the tower. And to be fair, I have fought him in the tower. He seems kind of built only for the tower, in well, a very specific slot. I couldn't summon for him. Mm. Me neither. There was too many stuff coming out at the time. Yeah. Either way, good. Good if you like Part Four Jotaro. Apparently, people are still using him in PvP, regardless of what they think about him. So, feel free to good use on him. Them. Yeah. Also, this guy is an absolute monster. It's the Nightmare Luffy. He has the copy ability. He's coming back because he's a popular Tower Limited. I can say for sure that's true because I. He's insanely strong in the Tower, and also if you use him as a friendship skill, it's also insanely strong. Uh, yeah, I haven't got him. Yeah, he's good on two different sides. So if you if you want him, he'll be back soon. Returning limited gotcha. Not popular in the tower whatsoever, Jiraiya. He's back. He's dead. He has a toad. <laughs> yes, that's all you kind of need to know. I think from what I remember, Jiraiya is not very good in this game. So that's kind of sad. But if you love Jiraiya, and who doesn't love Jiraiya? Jiraiya is awesome. The person who killed him doesn't like Jiraiya. <laughs> Pain. Yeah, Pain. that's true. But even then, as he went down, he was like, oh, well. Hey, that happens. Yeah, a lot of people like Jiraiya. I like Jiraiya. You know, they, I'm surprised they haven't done a Naruto and Jiraiya unit. Like That would kid. go back to, like, Kid, and that'd be Rasengan. That'd be pretty cool, though. It would be pretty cool. I'm just saying, get it done. Anyone out there listening. I would like more Jiraiya. There's also a super special sale pack coming, a large special pack, all this other stuff. And Boruto, as we said, is coming. There's in the data mines a bad haircut Hokage Naruto. <laughs> so it's a Boruto event specifically, or just mm -hmm. Boruto? Boruto event. So we're going to have an entire Boruto event. I don't know what... Who can you speculate from the hit series Boruto is coming? To be a unit? Besides yeah. Naruto with a bad haircut? Yeah, Naruto with a bad haircut. Obviously coming. Boruto, obviously coming. Hinata, his mother... You think? You think Hanada makes no, it? No, probably Hanabi, his uh, little sister. Okay, so you think <laughs> Hanabi, Boruto, Naruto? Maybe the people in his crew. If Sadar, no, Sadar already has a unit. No, Sadar doesn't have a unit. I swore. I saw no, there's only there's only one unit from Bor. There's two yeah, units from Boruto and Bar in here. So it's it Boruto, Boruto and some dude. Okay, so then pro probably Sadar and that uh, one kid Rochimaru conjured up in his lab. Yeah, his, his, the clone, his clone son. His clone son. Spoilers. <laughs> Spoilers. Um, maybe we'll get some of the other. Maybe we'll get Choji Daughter. We might make the sequel to Choji. We, Choji we get Chip. Mike Guy in a wheelchair. I would summon for Mike Guy in a wheelchair. And we get, uh, what's the name of Rock Lee's son? Metal Lee. Metal Lee. <laughs> <laughs> I would like Metal Lee. That'd be awesome. If they all if they if they spend all their budget on the little kids. Yeah, that'd be pretty funny. <laughs> Would be. I forget. I f does Shikamaru have a son or a daughter? Son. Okay, so and Eno has a daughter. Or is Eno it a son? Eno has size. Son. Is it a son? I actually don't know. It's a son. Okay. No. I know for a fact Choji has a daughter. Choji has a daughter. We know that. Yeah. Uh, Eno and Saito. It's been a while since I've seen Borto. Yeah, I have less of an idea than you do on this one. I feel like Shikamaru's Shikamaru kid is definitely a boy, though. It's not with Eno, though. It's with, uh, what's her name? Tamari. Yeah, no. Uh, he wouldn't be able to deal with Eno. No, definitely not. Not a good couple. Not a good couple. That's why we have Sai. Yeah. To throw at random females they didn't know what to do with. I mean, you could say that in general. How about Sai? <laughs> Let's get Choji's wife in it. Choji's wife? Yeah, who was the random cloud ninja girl that shows up? That could. Yeah, that's the point thing that you never show. They never show how Choji was able to... If they're going to have Naruto, they're going to have homeless Sasuke. <laughs> oh yeah you're right they have to kind of include well obviously because it is a boruto celebration they have to include a naruto and a sasuke yeah that's kind of the go-to event here what else sakura that'd be kind of hysterist. that'd kind of be too obvious to do but i feel like it's gonna happen like mother sakura it's gonna be mother sakura mm. uh, father 
Shadow Clone Naruto. <laughs> the one dropping the cake. Uh, Homeless Sasuke. And then Sadara. And then the limited, who knows? Like I said, Choji's daughter. Obviously. Choji's daughter with uh, Metal Lee. <laughs> yeah, the ultimate dual unit. <laughs> we'll figure it out more when it comes in, but I think that's good enough for now. So, oh, also the stamina item is hopefully coming soon. We'll see how long that takes, but Would we'll see in two weeks. Even funnier for me is they make the Barto from like the beginning of the series, which is like the end of the series, as as a unit. That would be pretty funny. It'd be a good gag, though. It'd be a good gag, but there's no time for gags. Serious business. This is serious business. They have to uphold what they did to Blazing. It's true. You're right. And with that, that is the end of uh, Njipudi Jams. I want to thank special guest Nux for su- 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 subbing in for my... Did you say sussing in? Sussing in? <laughs> the imposter Zenron? Yeah. This is an emergency meeting I had been called. Yeah, I emergency called you and said, well, <laughs> Zen's gone. <laughs> Please take over. So thank you very much for him. Thank you very much if you've made it all the way here to the end. Thank you a whole bunch. You can leave a like. It helps a whole bunch. I don't ever ask for them, but here at the end, if you made it this far, slap you made them. it this far, type out in the comments, this is a very good video, but personally, I thought, and then don't say anything else. <laughs> <laughs> if you make it that far, I would be surprised if a single person says that. <laughs> You're crazy. I get lucky enough if I get like one or two comments on here. Someone makes it all the way to the end and puts that in there. They will have my respect. The respect of the full video. Yes. Okay. That's what I'm saying. And you'll get a shit special shout out in the next video. If you make it that far and you type in that phrase, I will gladly announce in the next episode. I'll say at the beginning, thanks, shout outs to these people for saying it. <laughs> shout outs to these people. And then I will make a short video. There I'll send it to you. It's going to be... I thank you for them. Yeah, and I'll put it on the channel. Only if someone Only actually... Yeah. yeah. I don't have to make the video if no one comments it. Yeah, exactly. So until next time, everyone, thank you very much for joining us. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Say goodbye, boy. Goodbye. And also Zenrot said bye. Just to let you know. Zenrot said you guys did not come to the posture. Frankly. So it's just a bad show. Yeah, he said all that. It was really weird, but I couldn't hear it all because he was cutting out because of his bad internet. I think the imposter took out his electric <laughs> <laughs>